G'day everyone, thanks for joining me. I'm Ray Zero AU and welcome back to another episode of The Infected. And uh, yeah, winter's hit. Surely has. A bit of snow running, a bit, uh, snow falling. Uh, got a couple of chests here. Probably move that one that off. We need to, I think we need another three crocodiles that's our first aim today i've got my uh winter stuff on now so we should be okay unless we get a massive blizzard which might be a bit of an issue uh last episode i made it home after last episode with about 20 health left so yeah it wasn't great Here's our first victim of the day. There we go. Alright, give me those arrows back. No more arrows. Hmm. We haven't got a huge amount of arrows. No more. 13 arrows. Hmm. I reckon it can sometimes take about six arrows to kill these things. Was that an arrow that was... No. Alright. Bring this back. Here we go. Get the axe out. Right, let's chop this chop this croc up. Okay. Right, we've got two. Two more. Uh, I think this is the one that I've got meat in at the moment. Yep. Uh, we'll just keep dumping that in there. Right. Next. Oop, there's another one there. Missed him. How did that miss? Let's see if we can get this arrow back without aggroing. There he is. Here he comes. All the way back here. Come on. Oh, can buy the trees. Oh, hang on. It's the two there. Are they both stuck there? Alright, well, this might just be the two we need. Have we got enough arrows? That's the question. He's stuck. The other one's inside the other one. No, seems to be hitting him. There we go. Alright, good. Alright, well I'm not going to carry him all the way back here, so... Let's grab the cart and bring it forward. Hopefully we can... Uh, Grab both of these. Uh, wash hands. You can't. That's interesting. I didn't think you'd be able to wash your hands with the um, with the ice. Oh. Right. You go in there. Give me that arrow. Can we put a second one in? It looks like you should be able to, but no. All right. I'll do. Oh, hang on. Looks like I've got him trapped. Oh, Vambi. Did bring a new spear. There we go. 
missing a little bit of iron fragments. Oh, no, I've lost him. Lost him. Alright. We'll just have to come back and grab him. Hopefully he doesn't despawn. Stamina back. Okay. Crocodile skin number three. Okay. Bones in there as well. Uh, this chest is just about full, so we'll fill it up. Uh, actually, probably should leave one spot just for wasted food. Spoiled food. Pop you in there. Right, let's go get that other one. There he is. He's not despawned at least. in there. Give our hands a wash. Right. This will be the fourth crocodile skin that we need. And finally, after uh, on the fourth one, I decide it's probably better to uh, to bring the cart inside. Right, let's harvest this thing up. There we go. And a bit of meat. Uh, probably just leave. We'll leave a little bit on us. No, don't do that. Okay. Yeah. You can go on there. You can go on there. Bring these inside. Okay. You. Oh, I can't put that one there because of the because uh, of the cart. That's all right. I can just go there. All right. That's everything we need at the moment. Uh, we've got some water, so we can have a drink. Our fruit and veg is terrible at the moment and the reason being that um, my plants hadn't grown or not completely they weren't ready for harvest so give our hands a wash right time to get back to base
All right, here we are back at base. So, move these. Uh, they can, no, they can probably just go over in the corner here. You. Come. Okay. So let's have a look at our, oh, what, what am I doing? Let's have a look at our, uh, the heater's okay. It's got plenty of fuel in it. These still haven't grown. It's not quite enough water. So we've got a little bit of water here. Take what we can. Now that's my cucumber one there. It keeps dying. So I'm wondering whether it's too far away from the heater or is it clipping through, slightly clipping the wall and it thinks it's outside. I'm not quite sure. So, trouble is without cucumber, I can't make the canned vegetables. So, I guess what we're going to do is just going to grow these and, and eat these. Just eat them as is. If I can get the melon and the uh, watermelon grown, then we can at least make the canned fruit. Uh, it's not very much water in that one. But you can just come out and grab some snow, which uh, acts as dirty water. Chuck you in there. Okay. Because I need to get the fruit and veg sorted out. But yeah, this one's an issue. So maybe if we move it down this end, it might work a bit better. Just at least until winter's over. Once winter's over, I'll be moving them back outside so they can get the rain and things like that. And of course, once uh, I get a uh, get a greenhouse, then it's not an issue. The only issue with the uh, greenhouse, it can be a bit of a pain to water everything. Unless you have the uh, water pump. And uh, I think we need to find the blueprint for that. So, all right. Well, that's got those sorted at least. So, uh, let's have a look here. So, we need four croc skins, two rope. Make our new backpack. Uh, we did get some rope here. And then we've got the four croc skins. Uh, go over to the loom. That there, took that there. Large backpack. There we go. So that gives us a much bigger inventory there. It also increases our carry capacity to 75. So that is much, much better. Uh, drop off those things there. Drop these off. Uh, we've got nothing smelting at the moment. So let's have a look at our rocks they're doing okay All right that's full that will start filling that one up bring that inside get the smelters going need to uh, keep smelting these aren't quite ready yet pretty close though i think apart from the cucumber of course um eight arrows left we're going to need to sort that out at some stage. Just looking around, seeing if there's anything to eat around. I'm not seeing anything, but it is winter, so I don't think we will. What I might do now is just start placing down a few uh, foundations. Uh, just, just the outlines mainly. Because that's, I need to get this base going. Served its purpose so far, but I need to build it out a little bit more. So, I kind of want three across in the middle there.
And then we're going to need another three there. It does make it quite wide. Uh, won't let me pick that up because I've got the uh, outlines of the foundations. But yeah, it's going to be, that's a lot of logs. An awful lot of logs. Place these in. Uh, I'll probably bring that back as well. Is in. All right, get rid of this tree. Uh, got to pick up the logs, but I've still got. the outline of the foundation so just place those in so we might as well just chuck those in there there so let's try this thing about putting in the angled foundations on top of the other ones Oh yeah, I'll rotate that round like that. Okay, and we're going to want another one here. That. All right. Seems to work. Hmm. Might have to take this one out at some stage and then bring that all the way back here. Right, let's start putting a few logs in. I just want to test out these corner bits. So I'm assuming that you probably need to do that corner one first. Because otherwise the other one's likely to cover it, I'm thinking. Which is a difficult concept for me to, to be thinking, but still out of, uh, we're out of stamina. The problem is our stamina is only at 50 because our uh, fruit and veg is so low. Okay, so that goes in there. Then we do this one. Uh, gonna need some more planks. Come on, there we go. Whoops. Nice. We're really just testing this out at the moment. Yeah, there we go. It does look a bit weird in the middle there, where it's sort of crisscrossing, but... Okay, so now we should be able to put that wall in. Uh, I want a window on this one. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, that works. Uh... uh let's do this one. Yeah, we'll just chuck that in there and get rid of it. Another four planks. And those. So, get those going. Chuck those in. Not to run out of planks, uh, logs again. So, have to do some logging off camera I think. Oh, the stamina again. Okay, that one's okay. Yeah. Uh, 
chuck that in there. So we need four four logs for here. Uh we got one log. Alright, let's just go grab some, grab this tree here. And one more log. We've got this one over here. Pack that one in. Okay. That one worked out better than the other one. Well, it hasn't got the crisscross bit on it. All right, that'll work. Yeah, this one see it's got the crisscross on it there, whereas this one hasn't. Hmm. Not that it really. I mean, I'm not that bothered by it. Okay, so this is going to be the entrance here. That'll be the entrance just there. But it is going to take a lot of logs. And I'll probably do a lot of this off camera, I think. Um, there's a lot of, lot of logs there. Then we've also got to work on a second story as well. Or on a first floor, I should say. And the question is, do I want to make... a woodworking building ideally for this sort of build what we want is we want the um we want the circular saw reason being the circular saw gives you four uh, four planks per log whereas these ones only give two and plus the fact you can just fill them with logs Put a bit of oil in them and it just works so yeah don't know about that we'll have to think about that oh food's ready all right so we're just going to harvest that harvest you and then we'll grab got some cans in here Grab some cans uh Ah, oh, just need to drop the melon and then harvest it. Okay, that gives us two halves. Uh, we can chuck the seeds back in for now. Yeah, okay. we'll need a bit of water, but we'll worry about that after. So, one melon half, one watermelon half, and a can gives us fruit salad. Uh, now we've got the corn and we've got potatoes. We don't have any uh, cucumber that hasn't grown yet, so we can't make the veggie cans. Chuck you back in. Chuck you back in there. So we might as well just make another uh, fruit salad, I would think. Okay. Okay. Right, let's have something to eat. Much better. We'll eat both of those. That's our fruit and veg right the way up now. Uh, we could probably eat some of you. Just help with the vitamins. Uh, what sort of meat? We, we've got a piece of meat there. We might as well eat it. What have we got on here? Oh yeah, these are all ready. So if we grab those and... This one? Yep. Grab five of those off there. And we'll stick those on there. Oh, can you put a... No, can't put a uh, liver on there. Okay, we can be going. Right there, okay. Uh, probably eat a bit of that. Maybe a second one. Okay. We haven't got any water. Got anything in here? Uh, got a little bit of water in there, 37. 
slow. We've got a bit of water still in there. Ah, we can't put it in there, of course, because that's clean water. You can't mix them. Just empty, you. Yeah. Cut you out. Drink. Okay. That's everything empty. Right, let's just grab it out of here. Otherwise, we use it while it's there. Grab another one. Alright. Now, might as well put the uh, liver down. Uh, we've got a spare piece of meat there and a couple of potatoes. We'll make those into baked potatoes. They'll help. And light you up. Alright, so that's got that going. Alright, so yeah, I've got a fair bit of work to do here. But, uh, as I said, I'll probably do a lot of this off camera. Uh, just looking around, there's nothing else. Right. I guess if I'm going to make a uh, wood cutting thing, it's going to be on this side here. So, do I want to do that? Probably for log storage and... And plank storage and things like that. Uh, I'll have to have a think about that but that is where I'm going to call this episode guys so I hope you've enjoyed what you've watched if you have please leave a like and subscribe look forward to seeing you all next time my name's Raid Zero AU signing out